Yo, yo, what's good, man? Dear way at the control room. All right, so let me get straight to it. Salute to Monique and D.L. Hughley, who are considered legends in this entertainment field. Actors, actresses, the, 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 the accolades, it's, it's just too long to even, to even list. They're both well-known comedians. They are considered legends in this game. And here we are, arguing about who's the headliner. Who should go on first and who should go on last? First of all, you know who's headlining right now? COVID, motherfuckers. That's what's headlining. COVID is the headliner. Just sitting there worrying about who should go first and last. Who's the last person? They're both getting paid. Both of y'all headliners. What's up? What are you worried about? What's in the con? Monique, salute to Monique. Monique, you are the truth. You, you are the truth. No one can tell you nothing. You got your king by your side. You are the truth. You are Monique. Baltimore's finest. The queen of Baltimore. Queens of comedy. They got D.L. Hughley. He's, he's not only a comedian, but he's more like a... I put him as an activist, man. He's very political. He knows politics. Very intelligent dude. You know, man. But he, he's with the shits, though. Don't get it twisted. Monique is with the shits, but you're both legends. I don't know who started it. I don't know what caused it about who goes first, who's the headline or whatever. But both of you guys should be ashamed of yourselves at this stage of the game as you guys being legends getting top dollar in the game. People are still coming out to see you motherfuckers. And you're sitting there arguing about who's supposed to headline at this stage of the game. How you have black on black comedy crime? Really? So now we're gonna be talking about this for another week and then you know whatever, whatever. I mean You guys is getting money. And you're arguing about who headlines, who gives a fuck? You got people, man, be, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the old story. You guys should be lucky to even be on stage there. People like Rich Pie and Red Fox and these guys open doors. We know the game. We know the story. Y'all sitting there. Y'all should, should be as black people. I'm gonna be honest. As black people, should, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Be going back and forth in front of the whole world about who headlines. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody really cares. I mean, it's a good story. It's, it's good gossip for all the bloggers and for people to talk about and whatever. But. My attitude about the whole situation, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Monique, I don't care if you see the, the video, you can say, fuck you, you ain't shit, you ain't known to be shit. I'm just saying, as a black woman, you shouldn't be destroying another black man publicly. That's some barbershop shit. That's not for the world to, to even know about your contracts or none of that. That's some shit that y'all talk about behind the scene. Curse them out behind the scene. You have every right to feel what you feel. If you want to air it out the way you did, fine. But my attitude is that should have been like discussed behind the scenes. You spend about 10, 15 minutes on stage talking about that shit. People are paying to see material. And if DL, if you did some bullshit, Tumo, you deserve to get, you know, to be to be checked. If she was supposed to close out, fucking let her close out. Who cares? Y'all both get paid top dollar. You got motherfuckers that's not just getting paid 75, $75 right now, $100 or whatever to, 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 to do their thing. You guys are making an honest living and doing what you love. And y'all going back and forth like kindergarten kids, but y'all should be embarrassed. Embarrassed as black top legendary comedians arguing over this bullshit. Yeah, that's right. DOA said it. I said it. Y'all should be embarrassed. Shit is crazy. I, I, I can believe this shit when I said these motherfuckers arguing about who's gonna headline. Are we serious? It don't even matter what's in the contract. Get paid. Get your money. Your niggas not gonna always be them niggas. You got people that's gonna come up, man. That's just, that's trying to get to where you at, and you're arguing about who's gonna go first or last. Sometimes not even the headliner. Just being the last nigga it doesn't make you a headliner. Sometimes you're just the last motherfucker. So I just wanted to address that, you know what I mean? But 
right now, COVID is headlining right now. Oh, that nigga, that nigga's on the rise like a motherfucker. That nigga's definitely headlining all over. And yeah, we walking around like it's normal. She's like, I ain't got my mask on. I'm in my car. I don't even trust me. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, let me let me get my shit. I don't even trust myself. You know what I'm saying? Shit is real out here. You know what I mean? Shit. So listen, this is DOA at the control room. I want to say salute to all the comedians and artists that's doing their thing. But don't be arguing online over bullshit. And it's always black people that do the same shit. Uh, I, I did this and he did this and that to me. Grow the fuck up. On that note, deal with the control room. Salute. And like and subscribe, right? My subscribers is real terrible right now. This shit is bad for a brother. Got like 53 subscribers. This shit is sad, man. But anyway, man, just, yo, deal with the control room, man. Salute, man. I'm out.